Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Steve Huff, and today I want to talk about the Klipsch Forte 4 speakers. I've been listening to them for a while now, each and every day, usually at night in my listening room when everything is quiet around here. And uh, I want to share my impressions of this speaker now. I have already reviewed the Heresy 4, I've reviewed the Cornwall 4, I reviewed the La Scala AL5, all the latest versions of the Klipsch Heritage speakers, but the one speaker I have yet to hear is the Forte. In fact, I've never heard the Forte 3, the Forte 2, the Forte 1, so I was very excited to get a chance, an opportunity to listen to the Forte 4 so I can compare them even not just for you guys, but for my own curiosities. I was wondering, would I like them better than the Heresy? Would I like them better than the Cornwall 4? Would I dare like them better than my La Scala AL5? Well, thanks to Corey at Paducah Home Theater, uh, I am able to do just that, compare these and give them a listen. Corey asked if I wanted to try them out, listen to them, compare them. They shipped them to me via freight. As a matter of fact, I had to have them shipped to my mother's house, which is almost an hour away because we live so remote and so rural out here in the woods that semi-trucks don't come out here uh, and usually nobody can even find this place because if you put our address in GPS, it takes you somewhere totally different. It's really weird, um, but that's just what it is. So I went over to my mom's place, waited for the driver. He pulled up with a pallet uh, with the four Tay-4s on them, and there was a cylindrical uh, container attached to the side as well. And uh, I they, he put them off the truck. I unloaded them from the pallet, put them in my Jeep, and I brought them right here to my listening room. These are about 80 pounds each, I believe, give or take a few pounds. So they're not light, but they're not like the La Scala's or the Cornwall's that are over 100 pounds. Heck, even the Heresy 4's are pretty heavy. Just carrying one of those around um, can, can give you a backache if you're my age. But with the help from Debbie, we unpacked them, put them in the listening space, and I was excited to give them a listen. Now. I've lived with the Heresy 4s long term, had them ever since they came out. I love and adore them. I had the Cornwall 4s long term for a while, and I am currently living as well with the La Scala AL5s, which have been my dream speaker and are still my dream speaker. They just deliver everything I want and need from them. But I did review the La Scala, so I'm not going to talk about those here. Uh, if you want to see that review, check it out. I'll put a link in the description below. I also did a quick sound demo between the Heresy, the Forte, and the La Scala just recently. I'll put that link in the description below if you missed it. So the Forte 4 sit in the middle of the Klipsch Heritage line, kind of in the middle, not really the middle if you count the La Scala and Klipsch horn. But just for example's sake, let's consider the Heresy 4, the Forte 4, and the Cornwall 4. They sit right in the middle between the Heresy and the Cornwall. Now the Heresy, having lived with it long term and having lived with the Cornwall 4 for a long time, I don't have the Cornwalls right now, but having lived with them both, the Heresy is like a small mini Cornwall. If you stacked four Heresies together to make one big box on each side of your room, they would sound, I would imagine, like the Cornwall 4. Imagine the Heresy 4 sound times 10, maybe times 5, and you have the Cornwall 4 sound. It's big. It uh, leans a little warm. It has that big, deep mid-range, a sweet top end, and a boom, boom. Not a huge bass. You would think the Cornwall would have this massive bass, right, that's going to slam you out of the room, but it's kind of a gentle giant. When I reviewed them, I called them a gentle giant. The bass is there when called upon, and it can be quite powerful, but it's not a kicking, punching, slap you in the face, hit you in the chest kind of bass, right? So enter the Forte 4. In my listening space, I immediately heard a difference with the Forte 4 compared to the Heresy 4 and the Cornwall 4. The difference, I will try to explain the differences the best I can. First, I will say I think the Forte 4 is the most audiophile speaker Klipsch has ever made. The imaging is unreal for a clip speaker. I've never heard imaging this good and that is because the top end is a has a little more energy than the Heresy or the Cornwall and even the La Scala. It's a little bit brighter up top but it's not a bright speaker so don't let 
those words sway you. It's not a bright speaker, it just offers more detail. And that detail um, delivers instrument separation that is very, very good. And say you are at a concert, right? And you have a fiddle player to your left, a drummer in the back, the singer dead center, and you have a uh, bass or banjo player on the right. When you cue up that performance on the Forte 4, you will hear that fiddle kind of floating in space in front of you to the left. You'll hear that bass or banjo maybe a little bit back further. You'll hear the drums in the back and the vocals will be dead center forward coming out into the room. That is imaging. That is when you feel like you are listening to the performer in your room, a live performance. And we've always heard clips excels at live sounding speakers, but they also excel at rich, intimate sound. They excel in uh, so many ways. Today's clips, version fours, are so much different than the clips of the past. They're not shouty, they're not bright, they're not colored like that. The horn coloration that used to sound like this, they don't sound like that anymore. As a matter of fact, listening to the Forte 4s, I don't really hear that horn coloration at all. So Klipsch has done a wonderful job of, of making these speakers sound modern, a bit audiophile, if I can say that, expansive. The sound stage is wall-to-wall -wall in my room. Compared to the Heresy, the Fortes offer more detail, better instrument separation, and the Heresies are great at it already, um, and a more recessed mid-range. The Heresy mid-range and the Cornwall mid-range is fuller, a little more forward. The Forte 4 mid-range is less big but a little more recessed but that's because the Fortes do everything so well they're not a um, master of one trick they're a master of all right while the Cornwall and Heresy excel in that mid-range that ever so important vocal region the base of the Heresy is a little on the light end and the top ends a little softer uh, than say the Forte the Forte has a beautiful mid-range, but it's a little different from the Heresy and Cornwall. The one area where the Forte 4 excels over the Cornwall 4 and Heresy 4, though, is that low, deep bass. Now, when I got these, I assumed they were going to be, or I thought they might be, a little boomy in the bass because the Forte 4 has a big, massive 15-inch passive radiator on the back of the speaker. You have your bass driver in front, your horn mid-range, your tweeter. On the back, you have a 15-inch passive radiator. And what that means is when there's deep music coming from uh, the source, audio, whatever you're playing, say you're listening to rap or hip-hop uh, or EDM, right, or even some heavy metal and rock, that bass, you want it to kick you in the chest, right? You want it to have punch and rhythm and drive, and that's what the Forte 4s deliver. These kicked me in the chest. They rattled my wooden floors when I turned it up. And whether I was listening to hard rock, heavy metal, EDM, uh, pop, something like High by the Beach by Lana Del Rey is a track I use sometimes to test bass of speakers because I feel the bass of that track is a little overcooked, a little overdone. I've heard it overwhelm the room and I've heard it where it sounded nice and pleasing. I thought that it was going to totally overload the room with the Forte 4s, but the Forte 4s had this tight, boom, boom, so tight and clean. I was shocked, actually, because there was absolutely no boom whatsoever. But because of that bass, that radiator, don't think that your mid-range is going to get muddled up because it doesn't. The mid-range sounds fantastic, and the bass is separate, right? It's not muddled together you hear that top end detail exploding all over your space, you hear the vocalist in the center and you hear that boom, that bass which sounds like it's just invisible and coming from the room. The Forte 4s are definitely a different kind of beast in the Heritage line and while it offers the same overall sound character as the Heresy, as the Cornwall, even as the La Scala, just a little bit different scale, it's a little smaller sounding than the La Scala's of course, and the Cornwalls, um, it just sets itself apart with that passive radiator that delivers that deep bass. So if you're a bass head or you listen to EDM, rap, hip hop, heavy metal, rock and roll, the Forte 4s really will excel with those kinds of music 
over the other speakers. Now, in the Heritage Line. I'm not saying the other speakers in the Heritage Line are bad with those kind of music, because they're not. My La Scala's don't have any deep, deep bass to speak of, but because they excel so, they're so superb in that mid-range area with the voice and the mid-bass, you don't feel like you're missing anything when you listen to a song on the La Scala. But I can say there are songs I heard on the Forte 4 that just had this room shaking, boom, hit you in the chest bass, and when I turned on the La Scala, none of that was to be heard. So the Forte 4s offer something unique in the Heritage line. If you like bass, the Forte 4s are, are, are awesome. Now, as I said, these came from Paducah Home Theater, and they also shipped along a set of lamb's wool grills. The speakers shipped with the salt and pepper grills, but they sent along the cherry Forte 4s with the salt and pepper and the lamb's wool. And I have to say, I really love the look of the lamb's wool grills on the Forte 4. It just gives it this nice finishing touch. They look like a luxury item. Again, they're handmade in the USA, Hope, Arkansas. 10 year warranty on these things from Klipsch. So the Forte 4s are really in the sweet spot of the Klipsch Heritage lineup. You have the Heresy, the Forte 4, and the Cornwall 4. If you have a big, massive space, a big room, I highly recommend the Cornwall 4s if you're trying to decide between these Klipsch Heritage speakers. If you have a smaller room, I recommend the Heresy 4s. If you have a small to medium sized room, I highly recommend the Forte 4s, especially if you're into deep bass. But, here's a but, if you value a big, warm, a little warm leaning mid-range with that big voice, the Heresy 4, the Cornwall 4, the La Scala wins in that area. But as a whole entire package, detail, soundstage, imaging, depth, bass. But there's one thing you have to remember with Klipsch Heritage speakers, and this is important. I will say that I've tried all of these models with various tube amps, uh, Class A, Class AB, Class D. So I've tried them with a name Adam. I've tried them with uh, a Wilsonton R8 tube amp, a Carry 300 SCI, uh, Pass Labs Integrated 25, and what's in my reference system now is the Pass Labs XA60.8 amplifiers, monoblocks, and the Pass Labs XP10. And that combo just delivers the best I've heard out of all of these clip speakers. I have discovered for my tastes, and my tastes are a nice big sound that leans a little warm, a big mid range, nice deep bass fluidity, a nice sweet top end, a big sound stage. That's what I like when I listen to music. I like it to be real. I like the artist to be in the room. And I've heard these speakers with various amps and to me, they deliver what I like the most with the Pass Labs gear. But if you have something like a 300B tube amp, they can sound so sweet, especially at night. Um, if you have an EL34 tube amp, they can sound delicious as well. Your personal preference may vary because we all have different preferences. But one thing is for sure, these speakers will only sound bright or harsh if you power them with a bright or harsh solid state or cheap amp. Uh, if you buy a solid state $400 receiver, don't expect to get anywhere near the sound I'm describing to you. These speakers are so good, they thrive with better amplification. The better you feed them, the bigger your smile will be. And that's what I want to relay about Clips Heritage speakers because I still read people saying, oh, Clips blow me out of the room, they make my ears bleed. And I don't understand because these are warm leaning. They're not bright or harsh at all. They're not shouty. Um, they're, they're actually so musical and so rich and so deep. They make traditional speakers, non-horn speakers, sound dull and boring to me after I listen to the clips. And they make the non-horn speakers sound smaller. I mean, there's so many amazing speakers out there. I'm not saying Clips makes the best speakers. What I'm saying is, for the price, they are pretty amazing. You get the Made in the USA, you get the 10-year warranty. Um, they're just beautiful to look at as well. And the cool thing is, uh, if you buy them from Paducah Home Theater, and I highly recommend calling 
Corey at Paducah Home Theater if you're considering Clips Heritage because you might be surprised at uh, what it will cost you to get into a set of Clips Heritage. Give them a call, ask for a price quote. Another cool touch that Corey uh, did was send along a beautiful poster with the Fortes. He gave me one when I bought the La Scalas from him and I framed it and put it in the listening room. But these posters are gorgeous, and I guess while supplies last, they're giving them to people who buy these speakers. So uh, give them a call, see what they have. I visited their warehouse, and it's massive. He has pallets and pallets of Clips Heritage speakers ready to ship. Super great guy, super great company, and I make not a cent from Paducah or Clips or Past Labs. I don't make any money doing these videos. I do these videos from the heart. There's no commissions or kickbacks to me for them. I make maybe 20 bucks. I'll make 20 bucks from this video on YouTube, and that's about it. So when I review gear, it comes from right here, the heart. You can't see it. It comes from the heart, right? It's my true feelings. I only review what I would buy myself. I'm not going to review things every day that companies just send to me to promote and make a commercial out of it, which is what seems to happen a lot today. But... I just like to review what I like, what I would recommend, what I buy. And I get excited about amazing products. And the Forte 4 is an amazing product, as are all the speakers in the Heritage line. An immense value. Klipsch was going to raise the prices, I believe, on September 1st um, because they've been doing this price jump lately. And uh, I guess they canceled that for now because people were complaining. So if you are looking for a pair of Clips Heritage, they will raise the prices again here soon, I bet, probably within the next six months. That's just a prediction because they were ready to raise them on September 1st. Uh, I can highly recommend the Forte 4s, uh, especially if you have a medium-sized room and you like bass. They offer all the other characteristics of the Heritage sound, which is realism, lifelike vocals, big sound, room filling sound uh, nice warmth and uh, they're just beautiful all-around speakers if you like this video thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you next time i love you all thank you all for watching bye <laughs>